This is a fine, fine Estrantia. Master Ward. This is a, a variety called Superstar. Really quite large heads of flower. I would say that's two and a half inches across. I'm reliably informed that once the clump's been in two or three years, these heads of flower will get even larger. And here behind, the beautiful big spires of monkshood, Aconitum Bressingham Spire. Wonderful plant. Of course, all parts of the plant are poisonous, but then, you know, you're not wanting to eat it, are you? You see that little bee's ass coming out of that plant? Look at that. Wonderful, isn't it? In they go, and back out. You've heard the expression, rats up a drain pipe. Well, here you've got bumblebees, loads of them. Bees up a monk's hood. Ooh, Hermes. Anyway, getting back to the Estrantia, there's a little story about common names. My old partner, Gordon Long, was once doing a, a talk and a woman asked him, she was good, he was taking him around the gardens, it was a guided talk. And she said to him, Here, have you got any dancing fairies? He said, Well, no. No, we don't. we've got Brian who works for us. He's a bit of a fairy and I'm sure he'll do your jig. But she said, uh, no, I want dancing fairies. Anyway, he couldn't work out what she meant. Anyway, a bit further on, she said, look, you have, you have. And her name for dancing fairies, or the plant that she meant, was the Estrantia. Now, I've always known it as Master Wart, but it's a good example, again, of why we use botanical names because some of these common names are quite localised. And the typical one that I always give people as an example is that in Scotland, or much of Scotland, particularly the Highlands, my grandfather's area, they would have called the Sweet William Stinking Billy. But there you are. That was for historical reasons. Two lovely plants. And of course, a whole host of bees. Wonderful.